Viking lander photographs, it was discovered that there was this weird looking structure that looks for all the world in the Viking photos like a face. NASA's been keeping a tight grip on their images, but some out of the ordinary photos are slipping through the cracks, and they might just be proof of alien life. From the eerie faces on Mars to bizarre finds right here on Earth, it's like someone's leaving clues for us to find. Could these strange images, some captured in space, others much closer to home? The whole idea for the Sedoni Institute started when NASA announced in 1991 that they were going to return to Mars with the Mars Observer. And over the last 30-some years of our group studying NASA photographs, we have found an enormous amount of evidence that led us to believe there are artificial structures on Mars. Actually be the smoking gun we've been waiting for? Or are we just reading way too much into it? One, the face on Mars. I believe that the face on Mars was created from uh, possibly an existing mesa. Back in 1976, NASA's Viking 1 orbiter snapped a pic of the Martian surface that sent imaginations into overdrive. Among the usual red rocks and dusty terrain was a face, a human face, complete with eyes, a nose, and a mouth. This wasn't some blurry squint and you might see it image. It was a crystal clear outline of a face just chilling on the Martian landscape. Coincidence? We think not. NASA tried to play it cool, saying it was just a rocky hill with some conveniently placed shadows. But come on, what are the chances that a random pile of Martian rocks just happens to look like a giant face staring up at us? It's not like we're seeing Elvis in our toast here. This was a whole face carved into another planet. Clearly this wasn't some natural accident, but evidence of something or someone out there trying to get our attention. This eerie formation was found in the Cydonia region, a rocky, rugged area on Mars known for its mesas, or flat-topped hills. The face itself measures about 1.2 miles long and half a mile wide, no small feat for a trick of the light. Cydonia has long been a hotspot for speculation, with many thinking it might be the site of an ancient Martian civilization. People theorize that the face could be a massive statue or monument built by intelligent beings long before we ever started looking up at Mars. Believers saw it as a huge neon sign from an ancient Martian civilization, practically waving at us from across the solar system. The Cydonia region, where the face was found, became ground zero for speculation. People started theorizing about advanced alien societies, buried cities, and ancient Martian architects who might have left behind this colossal calling card. If you ask us, it's like Mars was trying to say, hey Earth, you're not alone. The face quickly became a symbol for everything we don't know about Mars, and everything we're dying to find out. Whether it's a giant statue, a warning, or a cosmic selfie, the face on Mars has us asking the big question. What else is up there that NASA's not telling us? If you're loving these cosmic secrets, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more alien weirdness. Two, another face on Mars. In this area called Utopia, in a huge impact crater, is the profiled face that has a beard, a mustache, and he's wearing a helmet that has an avian headdress. Mars has always been full of surprises, but the latest discovery is enough to make you raise an eyebrow. Or two, Say hello to the second face on Mars. That's right, not the famous one from the 70s, but a whole new profile showing up in the Utopia region, nestled in a massive crater. And this isn't just any face, it's a profile, complete with a beard, mustache, and a helmet that seems to have an avian twist. Think ancient astronaut meets Martian warrior. This discovery wasn't made by just anyone. It was found by George Haas, a researcher at the Cydonio Institute while analyzing satellite images. And while the face on Mars thing has been a joke for years, this one's pretty intriguing. When you compare it to Earth's Badlands Guardian, another rock formation with a similar human profile, the resemblance is hard to ignore. Both have bird-like headdresses. Now, with all these birds flying around, is Mars trying to tell us something? Now, imagine this, a Martian civilization that's somehow linked to our own history. Some theorists believe these geoglyphs could be telling a story shared by Mars and Earth. Maybe Mars was home to an advanced civilization that made its way to Earth. 
Or perhaps Mars was a stepping stone, exchanging knowledge with Earth long before we knew how to make fire. With all these faces and symbols showing up, it's tough not to wonder. Could Mars be sending us a message? Maybe these markings are telling the story of humanoids who once roamed the Red Planet. What happened to them? Did they vanish after a catastrophe, or did they leave for Earth, leaving their mark on both planets? So, as more missions head to Mars, maybe we'll get a little closer to cracking this code. Until then, we'll just have to keep wondering, who or what was really hanging out on Mars all those years ago? 3. Pyramids, Floating Figures, and Alien Secrets in March 2020, a group of researchers from the Cydonia Institute dropped a bombshell, images from Mars that have everyone questioning what we know about the Red Planet. After years of studying satellite photos, they believe they've uncovered something extraordinary. Pyramids. Not just one, but multiple. Some four-sided, some five-sided. But that's not all. Along with these pyramids, they found other weird mountain-like structures that don't quite fit the bill for what we expect from a planet that's supposed to be empty and lifeless. Now, these guys have been all over Mars for decades. Their curiosity dates back to 1991, when NASA announced they were sending the Mars Observer to get clearer images of the planet. From there, the Cydonia Institute dove headfirst into satellite images and found something that doesn't add up. Structures with angles so perfect, 30, 60, and 90 degrees, that they can't possibly be naturally occurring. It's almost like someone built it, possibly an ancient Martian civilization. So, what if Mars isn't just a barren wasteland? The Cydonia Institute thinks these pyramids could be proof of a lost civilization, long gone, but leaving behind signs of something more advanced. When you look at the symmetry and design of these structures, it's hard not to entertain the idea that Mars might have once been home to more than just dust storms and dry rivers. But, the plot thickens. Along with these bizarre pyramids, new images are popping up that are blowing minds. People are saying they've spotted Martian rats scurrying across the planet's surface, and some even claim to have seen iguanas roaming around. And then there's the really out there stuff, floating rocks that seem to defy gravity, and even a floating woman. Seriously, a figure just suspended in midair with no explanation. As if that wasn't enough, one image even looks like the Imperial Star Destroyer from Star Wars, on Mars. With all these wild images coming to light, it's no wonder people are starting to question if Mars could be hiding far more than we've ever imagined. Is it possible we're not alone? Or have we been missing something all along? 4. Buzz Aldrin's Moon Mission When Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, they were supposed to be making history, not uncovering a cosmic mystery. But that's exactly what happened. While on the lunar surface, Aldrin spotted something that didn't belong, a strange light in the sky trailing them as they moved across the moon. Instead of freaking out and reporting it to Houston, Aldrin kept it to himself at first, but it was clear. This wasn't just a glitch in the system. They were being followed by something that wasn't quite normal, but the surprises didn't stop there. Aldrin later revealed that he and Neil had witnessed some truly weird stuff on the moon like a massive object parked near a crater, just watching them. It didn't look like any natural formation. Aldrin described it as having features that resembled a satellite dish, complete with a long spike sticking out. Kind of a big red flag that maybe there was more going on up there than NASA had let on. As if that wasn't strange enough, the Apollo mission also revealed photographs of what seemed to be massive, artificial-looking structures on the moon. Some images showed what could be bridges or pipes, while others appeared to capture a large cooling tower. And then there were the photos of gigantic geometric shapes that raised eyebrows. These structures didn't look like anything that could have been naturally formed, leading some to wonder if they were built by someone or something else. Could they be the remnants of an ancient civilization or perhaps the remains of extraterrestrial visitors who set up base on the moon long before humanity ever got there? And wait for it, there's more. Some photos captured a mysterious woman on an alien ship, an eerie detail that only fueled the idea that NASA might have encountered extraterrestrial life and just decided not to share it with the public. As if that wasn't enough to spark your curiosity, the Apollo photos that were locked away for years show some pretty strange structures. Some experts think they look like an alien fortress, a satellite dish pointed right at Earth, or even a massive nuclear power plant. 
What exactly are we looking at here? Nobody's entirely sure, but the questions keep piling up. Is there a hidden alien base on the moon? And if so, what does that mean for us? Buzz Aldrin's journey to the moon didn't just change history. It opened up a whole new set of mysteries we're still trying to figure out. The truth might just be out there, but it looks like it's taking a lot longer to land than we expected. Fav, the monolith on Mars' moon. Buzz Aldrin has been talking about it, and now we're all wondering, what's the deal with that monolith on Phobos, one of Mars' moons? In 1998, the Mars Global Surveyor snapped some pretty wild images of this strange, towering object. Some experts say it's just a weird natural rock formation, while others are leaning into the idea that it's something more, like, way more. Could it be a relic from an ancient civilization? Or maybe a signal from extraterrestrials? The monolith's perfect rectangular shape definitely raises some eyebrows. This isn't the first time people have been drawn to mysterious obelisks. Here on Earth, ancient structures like the ones in Egypt and Ethiopia have fascinated historians for centuries. Some believe these towering stones weren't just for decoration, but were actually energy transmitters, acting like giant cosmic antennas. Imagine if these ancient obelisks possibly connected civilizations around the globe. Could they have tapped into the universe's energy, much like today's power grids? The idea is that these stones were placed with purpose, aligning perfectly with energy flows, like underground water currents. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi flick, right? Now, back to that Phobos monolith. If it really is part of some interplanetary energy system, the whole thing takes on a whole new dimension. What if this stone isn't just sitting there for the sake of aesthetics, but was put in place to harness some kind of extraterrestrial energy? Maybe it's part of a bigger network stretching across planets and moons. The Phobos monolith could be a remnant of a long-lost space-wide communication system, something ancient civilizations might have used to connect not just with each other, but with otherworldly beings. Some scientists are quick to argue that the monolith is just a big chunk of rock, a natural feature left behind by an asteroid. But others think the straight edges and its striking geometric shape don't quite fit with the rest of Phobos' jagged, cratered surface. It almost feels like it could have been intentionally placed there, right? Whatever the truth is, the monolith remains an enduring mystery. Whether it's part of some ancient energy network or a simple oddity of nature, it has people wondering, are we the first beings to set foot on Mars' moon, or did something, or someone, beat us to it long before? But what about right here on Earth? Have any extraterrestrials ever made an appearance? 6. Is it Dobby? A creepy video of a creature that could totally pass for Dobby, from Harry Potter has everyone scratching their heads. Captured by a motion sensor camera outside Vivian Gomez's home in Laguna, Colorado, the footage went viral faster than you can say, house elf. Some people were convinced it was Dobby, while others thought it might be Gomez's nine-year-old son, Bobby, sporting a pair of underwear on his head. Because why not? The video shows the creature doing a bizarre, chicken-like dance in the driveway at 9 p.m. One viewer chimed in with, definitely not human, while others tossed around ideas like a kid in an odd costume. But Bobby's mom, Vivian, wasn't about to let the mystery go unsolved. Sure, Bobby might be around the same height as the creature, but he insists he was nowhere near the driveway that night. He was comfortably inside, binge-watching TV with his mom while the creature did its moonwalk outside. Naturally, Bobby's bestie Montana became the prime suspect. After all, what's a good mystery without some accusations flying? But Montana wasn't having it. She straight up denied being involved, saying, no way it was me. So, in the name of solving this once and for all, Bobby was asked to do the infamous dance with underwear on his head because apparently that's the only way to clear your name these days. When Bobby pulls off the chicken dance on camera, he's got the moves, no question. But when his footage is compared side by side with the original creature video, it's clear. Bobby and the mystery creature are not the same. Bobby's still holding firm. I'm not the one in the video. So who or what was that thing in the driveway? Dobby, a kid in a wacky costume, or something even weirder? The mystery remains, for now. 7. The Starseed Mission to Save Earth Kelly Tyler isn't your average human. She's what's known as a starseed, a person who believes they've got some serious intergalactic roots. Starseeds think they're not originally from Earth, but sent from far-off star systems to help humanity heal, 
grow, and evolve. They often describe feeling out of place in the everyday grind, like they're meant for something bigger, something cosmic. According to Kelly, starseeds are here on a mission to guide the rest of us into a more enlightened future. But Kelly's story takes things up a notch. She claims that when she was a child, she experienced a phenomenon known as a walk-in, where an extraterrestrial being supposedly swapped souls with her. After that cosmic swap, she says, everything changed. Kelly's lifelong illness disappeared, and she suddenly had powers she couldn't explain. These powers aren't your typical superhero moves, no X-ray vision or super strength. Instead, she says she can astral travel, which means leaving her earthly body behind whenever she wants to visit a galaxy far, far away. And what does Kelly do during these space getaways? She hangs out with blue aliens, of course. According to her, these beings are peaceful, wise, and a bit camera shy. They're not about to pop up on your next Instagram feed. Kelly says she can have full-on conversations with them, discussing everything from the universe's secrets to the best way to help Earthlings get their act together. 8. The leaked footage of a gray alien in captivity. Between 1942 and 1959, something wild went down. Footage of an actual alien in captivity here on Earth was captured and later leaked to the public. And we're not talking about a blurry, grainy shot. You can clearly see the alien, a gray ET from the Zeta Reticuli star system, chilling in what looks like a sterile, high-security facility. This being has all the classic features, huge, oddly-shaped head, massive black eyes, and a slender body that seems way too delicate to be human. It's the stuff of UFO lore. The footage, which has been passed around the conspiracy circles for decades, shows the alien with its big eyes stare into space almost as if it's in a trance or just trying to process what's going on. There's no dramatic interaction or weird movements, just this alien sitting there, as calm and still as can be. It's almost like it's just waiting for something, or maybe it's trying to figure out if humans are really this weird. Of course, the way the government tried to hide this footage for so long only adds to the drama. UFO enthusiasts went wild when it was leaked, claiming this is the absolute proof that aliens have visited and maybe even been held captive on Earth. The stillness of the footage just makes it all the more unsettling. It's almost like the alien is staring through the camera, watching you back, wondering if you know what's going on here. 9. The Wangina Cave Paintings the Wangina cave paintings in Australia are basically ancient graffiti that might just hold the secret to aliens. Yep, deep in the Kimberley region of Western Australia, there's a whole bunch of mysterious figures painted on cave walls, and they've got people buzzing about ancient extraterrestrial visitors. These figures, called the Wangina, are central to Aboriginal culture, but some people are convinced they're proof of something a little more out of this world. Let's start with the basics. These Wangina characters look weird. They have big round heads and giant eyes that stare right at you. And the weirdest part, they don't have mouths. Like, not even a hint of a mouth. That's got alien enthusiasts all fired up, claiming that these were telepathic beings who didn't need to speak. Just straight mind-reading vibes. Honestly, if you were going to paint aliens a few thousand years ago, they'd probably look a lot like this. The speculation doesn't stop there. Some say the Wangina look a little too much like creatures in an alien flick, with what looks like glowing halos around their heads. These halos, or headdresses if you're feeling fancy, might be helmets or some kind of advanced gear, right? I mean, radiating lines around the head. Sounds more like space helmets than ancient hairdos. There are even people who point to the markings and lines on their bodies, saying it's basically an ancient spacesuit. Honestly, it's all adding up. The big eyes, mouthless faces, weird halos. It's almost too perfect to be an ancient coincidence. Sure, skeptics claim they're spiritual symbols, but come on, these paintings have kept imaginations buzzing for centuries for a reason. Maybe the Wangina were trying to tell us they had some visitors from the stars, or maybe those aliens wanted to leave a mark, knowing we'd still be talking about them today. Either way, the Wangina figures are totally the OG alien art. 10. Ancient Art or proof of reptilian visitors? The Ubaid lizard figurines are one of those ancient mysteries that definitely give off some alien vibes. These quirky little statues, dating back to the 5th millennium BC, were created by the Ubaid culture of Mesopotamia. Now, before you start thinking, just another old artifact, let's take a closer look at what makes these figurines so, 
out of this world. First off, these figures have some seriously alien-like features. Elongated heads, those coffee bean eyes, and bodies that are a little more lizard than human. Some even have babies suckling or hold a staff or scepter, with their hands placed oddly on their abdomens. But the real kicker is the heads. They're long and sleek, almost like something you'd expect to see in a sci-fi movie about reptilian invaders. Now, archaeologists say these figurines probably represented some form of deity, or were just a piece of Ubaid culture's religious expression. But let's be real, aliens seem like a much more fun explanation, don't they? After all, the lizard figurines, as they're often called, are really hard to ignore when they show up in places like the British Museum, looking straight up at you with those unblinking coffee bean eyes. And don't even get us started on the details. These figures are sometimes decorated with what could be interpreted as crowns, headdresses, or even tattoos and jewelry, adding a layer of mystery. For some conspiracy theorists, these figurines are a major clue that aliens visited Earth long before we even had smartphones. The belief goes that these reptilian beings weren't just visiting, they might have been worshipped. Imagine the scene, ancient humans in awe of beings with elongated heads and advanced gear, or in some interpretations, perhaps advanced alien tech, crafting statues to honor them. These figurines, they claim, could very well be proof that the Anunnaki, those mythical ancient aliens from Sumerian texts, made an appearance on Earth long before any human civilization kicked off. 11. The Sarcophagus Lid of Pakal the Great The Sarcophagus Lid of Pakal the Great is one of those ancient artifacts that immediately grabs your attention, and for good reason. Discovered in 1952 inside the tomb of Pakal, the Maya king who ruled Palenque in Mexico, this detailed stone carving has become a hot topic for both archaeologists and alien enthusiasts alike. So, what's all the fuss about? Well, if you take a good look at the lid, it certainly seems like Pakal is doing something far from ordinary. The image shows the king lying on his back, with his arms outstretched and positioned in a way that makes it look like he's controlling some kind of machine. Around him are what appear to be mechanical gears, as well as a spiraling design that some say could represent smoke or exhaust from a spacecraft. Pakal's posture and surroundings definitely don't scream traditional burial. And that's what's led some people to speculate that the image is not a symbolic depiction of the afterlife, but rather a representation of Bacall piloting a spacecraft. A theory that's gained traction with alien conspiracy fans who believe ancient civilizations had advanced technology thanks to extraterrestrial help. On the other hand, many historians and archaeologists argue the image is a symbolic portrayal of Pakal's journey through the underworld and into the afterlife following Maya beliefs about death and rebirth. The mechanical features surrounding him are believed to be symbolic of the cosmic forces guiding his soul, not alien technology. In Maya cosmology, the king's connection with the gods and his passage to the heavens was often represented in ways that could be interpreted as supernatural or otherworldly, but not necessarily extraterrestrial. Whether you buy into the idea of Pakal as a space traveler or see it as a depiction of an ancient royal spiritual journey, there's no denying the allure of the sarcophagus lid. It's one of those artifacts that keeps everyone guessing, sparking debates about the true nature of ancient civilizations and their possible contact with beings beyond our world. So, do you think alien life has been hiding among us all along? Or are we just scratching the surface of something bigger, 